There was my music and there was my dope, and that was it. Actually, I was quite a late bloomer. I was uh, in my 20s, you know. I mean, I was a heroin addict when I was 13, um, although I'd been playing with drugs since I was 12. But uh, it's like smoking cigarettes. Um, but I was starting to go in that direction, in the direction of heroin. Hey, Mr. Jim, I can see the shape you in. Got your finger on your eyebrow and left hand on your heel. Think that you're such a lady killer. So slick. Don't slick. There was a big lack of romance, and I was always in search of that. But I, I found my love was heroin. But she left. She's out. She walked out. Brother Johnny, he caught a plane on her. He got on it. Yeah, now nah, he's a razor in the wind. And he got a pistol in his pocket. They say the man is crazy on the coast. Woo! Ain't no doubt about it. Let's go. Brother Johnny is Johnny Espinette. He was my old dope connection. I don't know where the hell he is. He kicked methadone down in Florida, came back up, got in a tangle in a shooting gallery, shooting cocaine in uh, the Lower East Side. And he was married, actually, to a Dutch girl. <laughs> Funny enough. Sister Sue, tell me, baby, what are we gonna do? Well, Sister Sue was a person in my life who um, was very self-destructive, you know. And uh, she said, you take two candles, and when you cook up dope, you put it in a spoon, you heat it over the candle, and you shake it up there like that. And then you drop your cotton and you draw it up with a syringe. That's what all that's about. There's no more romance to it than that. Hello, Cesar. I still live in Carrozzi. You take on my television. You take on my radio. Hello, Cesar. It's autobiographical. Oh, yeah, sure, of course. I don't have that vivid imagination. It has to be biographical. If you don't feel it here, you're not going to be able to sing it 10 years from now. Because the, 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 the things that happen, that transpire, have got to be real. And you have got to feel them in your heart. And, and they will always be real, as long as they're in your heart. You know what I mean? Uh, if you just make up fairy tales, old King Cole was a merry old soul. Merry old soul was he. I mean. So That's just words, you know what I mean? It's, it, there's, there's no depth to it. And you, and you have to kind of realize that, that, that when you're writing, uh, you can't get no better than real. Let's go! I'm not saying I am a great singer or a great songwriter or a great entertainer. My band was the best. I wanted always to be a band that New York was proud of, but we ended up being the outcast of the outcasts. But who's still around? Me.